Now, there's no end to U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden's. What was Jr. Biden's federal trial on gun-related charges? It took a personal turn as two of his former partners, that's his ex-wife and ex-girlfriend, took the witness stand and described years of him abusing crack cocaine. Our next report has the complete story. Take a look. Hunter Biden's former girlfriend testified Wednesday at his criminal trial about his near-constant crack cocaine use. Prosecutors are trying to prove that he lied about his drug addiction to illegally buy a handgun in the first trial of a U.S. president's child. Zoe Keston told jurors Hunter Biden would want to smoke as soon as he woke up and spent days in hotel rooms getting high in the months before his 2018 gun purchase. Earlier, Hunter Biden's ex-wife Kathleen Buell, who divorced him in 2017, also testified about how she first discovered he was using drugs. Prosecutors claim Hunter Biden knowingly lied about his drug use on screening paperwork. He has pleaded not guilty to three felony charges accusing him of failing to disclose his use of illegal drugs when he bought the gun and of illegally possessing the weapon for 11 days. Hunter Biden has publicly acknowledged his past drug use, though his defense lawyer Abby Lowell has countered that Hunter Biden was not using drugs at the time of the gun purchase and did not intend to deceive. Lowell pressed an FBI agent to acknowledge that prosecutors' evidence of addiction came before or after the gun ownership. The trial follows another historic first. Last week's criminal conviction of Donald Trump the first former U.S. president to be found guilty of a felony. Trump is the Republican challenger to Democrat Joe Biden in the November 5th election. Hunter Biden's trial has taken a personal turn, with two former romantic partners testifying about his drug addiction and unsustainable lifestyle and spending in 2018. His ex-wife described how his addiction affected his family life and marriage, while his former girlfriend detailed their drug-fueled partying and attempts at sobriety. The prosecution aims to prove that Hunter Biden lied about his drug use on a federal firearm form, which could lead to felony charges and up to 25 years in prison. However, the defense argues that Biden's addiction is a disease and that he did not knowingly break the law. The trial is a personal ordeal for President Biden, and its outcome could have significant implications, not only for Hunter Biden, but also for his father, Joe. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.